This is code.org. The states class has an instance variable for a 1D array of states. It does. Plop. Oh, yeah. Names, I assume. The method get states returns a string containing each element in the names array. In the method get states, refactor the for loop to use an enhanced for loop to transverse, don't let this scare you, to move through the states array. All right, wow, that is a bunch of a bunch. Let's see what we have over here first. So we do have fave states. Oh, I kind of want to change these, but I guess they won't. I've lived in Texas, and that is it. But I've lived in lots. Okay, anyways, uh, my state. So we instantiate a object here, right? My states. We set, we ask it to run the constructor states, passing it the array of favorite states. That what does that do? This constructor assigns the array that we just passed it names, uh, the parameter we called it names, and then we use this dot names to make sure the class understands that names up here, the instance variable is going to be set is going to be defined by the value passed here. Cool, so these states now have a copy or have been copied to here. Great, then we say system printout my states, and that all looks good. And then we have a traditional for loop right here. We start with index zero, we need index to be less than the length of names. Names was five, I believe, yep, because there was five items. And then we say index plus plus. So there's five items, but zero index, one index, two index, three index, four index. So we start with zero because we don't, we don't add one the first time and names at zero was California. So it should pop out California. Yep. And then it should pop out Texas, then New York, because it will go up to the top and it says, all right, index is now equal to index plus one. What was the old value of index? Old value is zero, zero plus plus just means old value plus one. Old zero plus one is one, one is less than five, so it runs again and prints Texas, so on and so forth. We need an enhanced loop, blah, and that's how we do it. So, data type variable. Now, what data type is this? I know it's a string array. So I'm gonna write string, and we can do whatever we want. I could do value here. I like the idea of writing state. It's a bit more explicit, and it explains more about what that value represents code should be readable. It's actually pretty important concept within programming today. You want nice, clean, readable code. And having state as the variable here, I think makes it more readable. Names. Now you could do name. I wouldn't like argue about that. That is also a logical choice. I often get confused with S's though. It's kind of hard to follow sometimes. Either way though, perfect, great, cool. Bam. Now, I can't, this isn't going to work though, guys. We don't have index anymore. I deleted all of that. Instead, I can just type state now, because now state is going to be each of these names as it goes through them, and it should be identical. Quapow. Pretty cool. So it starts with California, goes to the bottom, goes back to the top, and it says, all right, what's the next one? In names. In names, well, Texas was. State is now Texas. Shoop. Now New York, so on and so forth. Onward. 